Reliable.
technical difficulties, I think because of the snow maybe today. How many of you were excited this morning when you got up and saw the snow? Yeah, I was too. I was too. So we're going to be what we call flexible and go with the flow this morning. So let's fold our hands and have our opening prayer. Dear God, we thank you for this new day, for sleep that refreshed us and made us ready for today. Prepare our hearts and our minds to worship and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. And I would like for you to open your hymnals to page 29, where you will find the Apostles' Creed. <coughs> And we will share our faith through the Apostles' Creed on page 29 together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of God, Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And then I'm going to have you go to page 14 in the front. And we're going to share the Easter litany together. We will speak all of the parts. We won't sing through those. Page 14. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Now all the vault of heaven resounds in praise of love that still abounds. Christ has sung. He is living. Sing, choirs of angels, loud and clear. Repeat their song of glory here. Christ has sung. Christ has sung. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Adoring praises now we bring, and with the heavenly blessed sing. Christ has triumphed. Alleluia. Be to the Father and our Lord, to Spirit blessed, most holy God. All the glory never ending. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And now we'll go to hymn number 66. 66. At the Lamb's High Feast we sing. Thank you. 
sometimes when we think of somebody who Jesus has taken to heaven, we're kind of sad, like Mary was. And so we sing some songs that maybe you're sad. We may cry. We may weep, like some translations of the Bible say. But because of what Jesus did by suffering and dying and rising from the dead again, we know that Jesus is alive and well. So, <clears throat> Miss Rose, most songs right before Easter Sunday, when we have all the music in church, those songs like on Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday are not very joyful, are they? Not at all. Because those two days, we are remembering the suffering that Jesus did for us. But, Miss Rose, when it comes to Sunday morning, whether it's a sunrise service or a little bit later in the morning, do we still have those really sad songs? It's big, loud, exciting, happy, just like Mary got excited. And so when we think about Easter, the one thing I always want you to remember is that big, loud, exciting, joyful celebration of Jesus rising from the dead. So the theme connected joyfully. We've been traveling through this school year with the theme of connected. No matter what happens each and every day, we, as God's special children, can be celebrating and be filled with joy no matter what. Even though sometimes we're sad, we should still have the joy of Jesus in our hearts. So the smiles, the excitement, all of that that comes from God is what should come out of our face. Not just our mouth, but our face as we show how excited we are to be part of Jesus and live with him forever. So the goal for us all is to keep Jesus in our hearts each and every day and celebrate Easter because there's a phrase for those of us that are faithful and believe in Jesus we are an Easter people say that with me we are an Easter people let's say that a little bit louder we are an Easter people so that's where that joy comes from so remember in the back of your mind and in your heart that you are an Easter person to celebrate Easter each and every day. I would like for you now to go to page 31 in your hymnal for our first prayer, <clears throat> page 31. And when you get to page 31, you will find towards the bottom of the page a prayer that has the word Easter at the top of it. We are going to pray that prayer together, and then we will go into our other prayers. So let's pray together. Lord Jesus, you have conquered sin and death and given to us eternal life. Fill our days with the wonderful joy of your resurrection. Stay with us and with your whole church. May your word always be our strength and blessing. Amen. And we continue to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the suffering, the death, and the resurrection so that we are reassured each and every day that we are yours, you hold us close, and you love and care for us. Remind us to let that joy be part of our lives each and every day because we are an Easter people. So even if we're sad, we have the joy of Jesus in our hearts. And may that be in our words and in our expression. We also ask that you continue to be with our families, be with our school, be with our country, and be with all who we are separated from this day. Continue to be our guide, our strength, and our comfort. In Jesus' name, amen. 
And if we've got the next slide. <clears throat> Let's read the sending together. May the grace and peace of God uphold you and guide you through the day. Take the Father, the risen Son, and the Holy Spirit with you into all you do today. Amen. And this is a reminder as we've read this that we're saying this to each other. So you are talking to the people sitting next to you. You're talking to your teachers. You're talking to everyone here as we pray that and ask God to be about that for us today. And in closing, let's go to hymn number 159. 159. That hymn is Let Us Ever Walk With Jesus. And this hymn is a reminder for us that no matter what happens, again, we're an Easter people filled with joy, asking God to have us walk with Jesus each and every day. blessed this morning to have Mrs. Stewart with us from the Northern Illinois District Office. Thank you for that fine message to remind us that our true joy comes from the risen Savior, and every day his resurrection is with us. So that passage in Psalms that says, this is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. What that means is that every day is a resurrection. So always be glad and joyful because the resurrection is yours each day because Christ has risen. We have many, many blessings with us here at Trinity Lutheran School, one of them being some very fine scholars. So it's our joy this morning to recognize the scholars from the third quarter. So we'd like to um, take uh, opportunity to distribute the honor roll. So we will begin with Mrs. Perez. Would you like to come and, and recognize the fine scholars in your classroom? Okay, with our honor roll, we have Skyler White, 
Juliana.
so that is wonderful news for us. And Luther's small, small catechism that you have access to, learn it, treasure it, keep it, memorize it always in your heart. So teachers, do you have anything else for us this morning? Oh, don't forget nachos Friday. That is something to really look forward to. Bring a dollar if you want some. Thank you, Mr. Dollar. Anything else? You know what? If you have offerings today, yes. You go back and stand by the door, and people can put the put your offering in the in the plate as you go by the door. Thank you, Roscoe. Anything else? God's blessings to you. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. And then we'll see you tomorrow for another Resurrection Day. Let's have the little slipper snipers go first. Thank you.